Hey everyone, it's Nancy Taylor here. Welcome, welcome to today's strength training workout. We are on the deck and there's pool parties going on. I'm filming this on a Saturday and so it's there's just good vibes. Good vibes going on outside. We are going to start with a five minute warm up and then go into the the training, the actual training. <laughs> we're doing only arms today. Well, there's some legs. There's some isometric holds on the legs, but we're really focusing on the arms. Lighter dumbbells. I have eight pound dumbbells, and that's what I'm gonna be using the entire time. So lighter dumbbells because we're doing higher reps, and we're gonna work those arms until burnout. Are you ready to go? Yes. Should have been a cheerleader. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, any cheerleaders out there? I was watching. Step touch, step touch. Okay, reach and pull, reach and pull. I was watching, um, our neighbor has a daughter that just tried out for college cheerleading and I just watch her stunts and her flips. I'm like, this is pretty remarkable. Like that is such a gift. I just think it's so amazing. I could just watch, watch all their tricks all day. <laughs> so if we have any tumblers or those that are doing like cheerleading, it's pretty cool. I did it when I was really young. I didn't do it when I was older. And you could probably tell. <laughs> I don't have that fine technique. Good. Pause it there. Legs here. Big arm circles back for three, two. So today was um, soccer day. So my kids, okay, it was a big breakthrough. I have to share with you guys. Okay, reach left, right, or your right, left, right. There we go. But my kids usually, so Ava has said she doesn't want, didn't want to do soccer. She got really nervous and would cry about it. So today was like a huge breakthrough. We told her just go on the field and just run, just chase that ball down. And I, and I don't know what the, the switch was. I don't know if it was just we didn't force her to do it, let her choose. But she went out there and just ran her heart out. Everyone came up and was like, Ava, I didn't even know that was you. Because seriously, she's usually on the sideline. Just really sad. <laughs> so it was like a huge breakthrough. And Jack did the same. He was out there running. We brought popsicles for everyone. So the kids felt really happy giving their friends popsicles. I thought that was so fun. So fun. Okay, shake out those arms. Good. We're gonna caterpillar walk. Make it to the right side of your workout area. Area, you're gonna walk it down. High plank. So Kai's napping right now while my older two are riding around the neighborhood. It's pretty fun. I just waved at my neighbor. She's probably staring at me like, what is she doing? Why is she doing a workout on her deck? I love it. So we live in like this secluded kind of area, but you can definitely see it in all your neighbor's yards. You have to have these kind of fences that have gaps in them. So you can just, you don't really have that privacy. So I'm like, hey. How's it going? Just doing a workout here. That's fine. It's good. It's a good thing, right? Good, give me one more. Walk it out. High plank, walk it back. That's it. Good, modified jack or full on jumping jack. Now we have some cardio in here. Not, the whole thing's not cardio. It's really focusing on strength and burning out those arms. But we do have some cardio if you're jumping today. So I have to keep peeking for Jack and Ava because she's giving him rides on her little moped. Me. And we live, we call it the racetrack. We live on a, it's like a, it goes around in a circle and you can just do laps. It's not a huge circle. You just do laps so you can just see them going right, in, right behind you. See them doing the laps. Whew. Keep going guys. Come on. Three minutes down, two minutes to go. Ah, are you having fun in this series? That is my biggest thing. I want you to have a good time. I don't want you to. Sometimes I'm like, I don't wanna work out today. I get it. But why do we show up? Because of how it makes us feel after. I never regret showing up for a workout. You just don't regret it. There's things that your body need, not necessarily needs, but longs for it, longs to move. Feels good. Ah, the big takeaway, and I love reading your comments, is the mental part. Like it, it's like therapy for my mind. Good. There you go. Grab your imaginary jump rope, heel, heel. Circle those arms while those heels are tapping. I want you to get a nice glisten here before we grab those dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, grab soup cans, water bottles, 
use whatever you have around the house. Sometimes it's a little bit easier for me if I'm holding a baby to do leg workouts. The arm workouts are a little bit more challenging, but you can definitely do like shoulder raises, but it is a little bit harder with bicep curl. Kai is just so squirmy. So if you guys have a baby with you, you make it work. Make it work. If you want to add in a little hop, connect your core, shoulders, not hunched or over proud. Just right here above those hips. Good. That's it. Okay, bring it in. Give me a high five. Let's stretch out those arms, left arm across. Circle that left wrist. Good. You can circle that left ankle too. Just circling it around right here. Okay, switch other direction. Good, open up, other side. Cute little pool party going on back here. I wanted to make sure they weren't in the screen <laughs> because I just didn't want them to be on YouTube. Hey, here's our pool party. <laughs> Thanks, Nance. <laughs> so yes, there's a cool pool party going on. Scratch that back. Nice tricep stretch. And ah, that just kind of feels real nice. There's my back scratch for the day. Right arm. Dave gets home tomorrow. Yay, yay, yay. We always celebrate when Dave gets home. We always appreciate him even more when he's gone for a couple days. He's on a trip right now. He flies airplanes. If this is your first workout with me, um, Dave travels for work. So he'll be gone a chunk of time, three or four days, home three or four days. It just always varies. Okay, are we there? Oh, we went six minutes, but that's okay, we stretched. Let's get into the workout. We're back at it. Okay, I have my eight pound dumbbells. We're getting started in 10 seconds. The very first exercise, it's actually a single arm row, but we're holding an isometric hold on the leg. So it's a lunge here. I'm just holding the other weight there for resistance, but I'm gonna row here. Now, I don't know what I did to my shoulder. <laughs> but it's, it's, I think it was like in the car, I dropped my other dumbbell so I could just focus on this one arm. So row up, down. I'm holding this, quad is on fire. You can come up if you need. You could bend here. It's like a bent over row, but I'm holding a lunge. Row in the lunge. Elbow pulls back, working that tricep as you pull back, working your back. Good. So this shoulder, I think I was in the car you know when you're driving and you're like, here's the water bottle, here's a snack. I did something to my shoulder. <laughs> Getting all the things for the cutie cutes. You know how it goes, right? All right, we're going single arm on the other side. Let's see. Actually, we're gonna stay on the same side for the next exercise. So 20 second transition. This is a snatch. So you're gonna go all the way down here, press up. Okay, now I am using eight pound dumbbells. If I'm feeling like I need a heavier weight, I'm gonna do this first round with the eight pounds. And then if I need, time is started. So down, press it up. We're gonna go through each exercise, then I want you to gauge how you're feeling. Do I need heavier weight? Do I need lighter weight? Do I stick with what I got? You're working to burn out. So staying on the same arm throughout the four exercises here we got. Ha! Good, that's it. Up, down, up, down. Good, four, three, two, one, and time. Okay, you're going to sumo squat. Both arms get to join in on this one. You're gonna take it around and here, around and here, okay? We're going in eight seconds, hold that sumo squat, working your obliques, your core, your shoulders, all of it, gotta love it. Okay, take it around in here. Now, if it hurts right here behind your head, the weight is making you arch or hurting your back, just change the range of motion to a little bit smaller so it doesn't go behind your head but on top of your head. Okay, good. Reverse, reverse. Good, there's one fluid motion here. I care about your form. So if I'm swinging around and my torso's not tight and controlled, I need to either get a lighter weight, lose the weight, and then you can drop that dumbbell. You can go here. Okay, three, two, one, and time. Boom. Okay, we're going to a plank, shoulder taps, shoulder taps, holding that plank. Your other option, if you're not going down to the floor, is here, here. Here, standing, shoulder press, plank, sh 
shoulder taps. You ready? Okay, one shoulder tap on each side. So I go one, two, out, in. One, two, out, in. I want you to kick up that cardio a bit here. Connect that core, pull the belly button in. This is the final exercise in this, in this round. And then we get a repeat on the other side. Now, with mine, like with the eight pound dumbbells, I do want a little heavier, but I'm gonna do eight pounds again on the other side before I switch it up. Keep going. You got it. You've seen the exercises. They're pretty simple, but they're focused on targeting one arm at a time. Really working that one arm. Three, two, one, time. Do you feel like you're getting stronger? As you keep showing up, you're going to feel stronger. It's such a rewarding feeling to be able to do exercises that used to be really difficult, or maybe you're getting back into fitness and you're like, this is difficult. <laughs> like, I'm giving it my all right now, Nance. <laughs> and that's great, you're here, that's all that matters. Keep rocking it, down and up, okay? So I can bend that back leg or I have it straight. Just row, 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 row your boat. <laughs> Oh man, that was so cheesy. <laughs> Good, keep going. Pull here, up, down, up, down. Right arm. Good, belly button pulled in. I'm just relaxing this core. That's it. Good. Elbow pull, pull. You got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven. Remember those snatches? That's where you're going in five, four. You get a rest though. Three, two, one. I like that better with the back leg a little straighter. <laughs> I felt awkward on the other side. Sometimes that happens. You're gonna go down, snatch, shoulder press. Okay, so squat down, snatch, shoulder press in five, four, three, two, time. Down, press, down, press, good. Down, press, down. Press, good, 30 seconds. Okay, around the world, that's where we're going next. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit for you though. Cause right, <laughs> nobody likes to get bored. <laughs> You're not gonna get bored today. And that's always my goal in every workout. Not to get bored, but also to burn out those muscles. Whew. Good, I keep finding like chocolate. So my little Jack Jack. I've told you, his favorite thing is that freezer in the summer. <laughs> I got like the 40 different treats from Costco. And he like has an ice cream cone, and then he has a fudgesicle. <laughs> There's just chocolate everywhere. I'm like, oh buddy, I love you. But could you please <laughs> eat it in the kitchen? I tell him he can eat it on the deck and now I'm seeing what that is doing. <laughs> Knees out, toes out, side to side, right to left, right to left. So I've been trying to get those healthier treats. I think I told you I got the Yasso. Those are yogurt, frozen yogurt. They also have some like sorbets. Aha! Some better options for fruit snacks. My kids go through so many fruit snacks. Good. And the cool thing is though, like I love watching my kids. I always present them with the other foods, like they'll always have a fruit and a veggie on their plate. And I love it because they see it so much that they'll eat it. I'm like, that's so cool. It's not, every kid has their own preferences. And when I was following a food expert with kids, she said to give them a comfort food, high five, that they feel comfortable with and like, and then present the other foods, like the broccoli or something that maybe is outside of their comfort zone. So I've been liking doing that. Okay, five seconds, we're going shoulder tap and, and then jack. In three, two, one, shoulder, shoulder. I guess I'm on the weights this time. Shoulder, shoulder, good. This is actually a great option if you have like your wrist, have any soreness. Sometimes you have carpal tunnel or there could be arthritis in your wrist. This can kind of help with those wrists to keep out the like really sharp bend. Sometimes you want to grab those dumbbells for any plank position. Just kind of a little trainer hack for you. Good, out and in. Pull your belly button in. You got this. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ha! Ah, isn't that fun to work out outside? I'm loving it. Okay, high five guys. Keep those lighter weights. We're gonna to go to block number two. Okay, you got 10 seconds. We're gonna hold both weights at the same time. Or we'll see how this goes. So 
So it's a shoulder, you're, you're gonna, it's a lateral raise, we're working those shoulders. You're gonna go to the sides, control up, and then control it down. Again, it's 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So you control up and you control down. Now we don't have the isometric hold in the legs, it's just your arms, my friends. <laughs> it's just those arms and all those shoulders. Do not do an extreme reach back to get the kids a drink and Cheerios while you're driving. <laughs> I seriously think it's either that or I slept on it weird. And when Dave's gone, everybody sleeps in mom's bed. <laughs> not always. Um, Kai actually always sleeps in his crib. That's where he sleeps best and he thrives and we all do best when he's in his crib. But my older two, they're right there by mom. Okay, we're gonna take it to a front, frontal raise, front. So you can either alternate one and then the other, or both arms at the same time. Now I wanna avoid swinging, arching. I do not want that. I want control here, and I want my arms doing the work. You're going to three, two, one. I'm going to alternate to maintain that form, but you feel free if you're ready to do, if you can hold that foundation and keep your body from swinging or losing form, then go with both. Good, 20 seconds down, 27 seconds down. Or no, to go. Just keep going. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, there's like these pretty yellow flowers. I don't know if you can see them behind me, but they're just these wild flowers just blossoming up. My kids and I will go, there's a hike here behind our house and we'll go on this hike and just pick the wild flowers. So yesterday, I'm just dying because I can laugh about it now. In the moment, it was kind of crazy. Oh, shoulder press. Here, shoulder press up and down. We're going in 10 seconds. But yesterday, so I got a helmet for Kai. So now I'm like, yes, he can go mountain biking. <laughs> Baby helmet, he hates it. So I'm on my bike, we have a shotgun seat. Shoulder press starts, guys. And it's just like a seat that goes in front of me. So Jack sits there. And then I have Kai in a carrier on my body with all of our helmets on. So we're like bunking each other. Kai's screaming because he hates his helmet. Ava's on her mountain bike rocking it. So we go down the trail over here and Ava did fall. So we, there was a couple times when we had to hop off, which Kai loved going downhill. He's like, wee! He's my one-year-old. Jack's my four-year-old. Jack, we're just now doing the bike with no training wheels. Next up will be off-roading, if you will. But that's all Dave. Dave teaches our kids that. <laughs> I'm just dying because we're coming up the hill. It's a pretty steep hill, 20 second rest. And uh, every single one of them was crying. I'm off the bike, pushing Jack on the bike, holding Kai. Ava's upset because she really wants to stay on her bike. And usually when Dave's with us, he pushes her back or he'll get a rope that tugs her up a little bit because it's really steep. Okay, boxer shadow, your punch, punch, course tight, punch. I'm just like, please, oh, here goes the cars passing me. Yes, I'm struggling. And I was just thinking, so I just finished the book, Loving What Is. And I loved, I really liked her perspective because she talks about how our thoughts, we think we can control things, but just like the wind, the wind just is. My daughter's having a meltdown, she just is. I can't control that. So oftentimes we feel like, we make up these stories around things that we want to control or like this always happens or this always happens to me or playing victim, but it is, it just is. It's just how it works. It's how the wind goes. It's how it was meant to be, you know? So things just happen because that's how they were meant to, <laughs> meant to happen. And it's, you'll have to listen to the book. She words it and coaches through it a lot better than I explain but I really did enjoy her perspective on those things. Okay, we're going back to the top. You can put down those weights if you want. Get a little shoulder shake out. Shake, shaky, shaky, shaky. Uh oh, I hear swinging. Oh, it's my own swing. Okay, we're going one more time through that block. And I'm excited because we're finishing with core on the floor. We'll be coming inside. We'll be coming and joining you. You're inside my house, actually. I just opened up the windows right here. So you're inside already. I'm gonna join you. 10 seconds, we're going back to the first part. So those shoulders, working on those lateral raise to the side. Is lateral mean to the side? Yeah, whatever. Raises, just, just do it. I laugh at myself when I try and remember names, because I don't always. Hopefully, hopefully that doesn't drive you crazy. If so, I'm sorry. Uh, 
Okay, maybe I missed that one, but keep going. We got 20 more seconds. Oh, now time started, 40 seconds. We started a little early. I was like, that was really fast. We started early. Okay, keep going. Now, if you need, if you start to swing to get them up, just alternate and do one arm at a time. Remember, we're working those arms to burn out. We're using a lighter dumbbell to work to burn out. But if we're swinging our body and we're like doing anything we can to get it up, you're gonna, you, you can injure your back, you can hurt yourself. And also, you're not working that muscle. <laughs> you're just working to finish. So I care more about how you do the move than if you do it for the full amount of time, okay? We care more about form, quality over quantity. Always, always, always. Okay, frontal raises. We're going in 15 seconds. I'm going to alternate those again. Quality over quantity. Eight seconds to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, four, the dogs are barking. They're cheering us on. Three, two, one. Whew. That's it. Good. There you go. So for, oh, they have so many at their little pool party. For um, tomorrow is, I, I always tell Dave, like the hardest day when you're gone is always Sundays. And I don't know why. Just being the only person with three young kids, keeping them quiet for an hour at church. I'm like, I need to change my perspective. It is a chance for us to learn to be reverent. It is a chance for me to learn how to teach my kids that. I prep them before, I prep them after, but I'm always so grateful when they have, like I'll have meetings for church. We'll do it at my house because if I take my kids anywhere, like the baby needs a nap, it's just chaos, 20 second rest. We're going shoulder press after this. And I'm always just so grateful that people are willing to accommodate with young kids. Usually when you have kids, you get it, right? <laughs> when I'm without my kids, I'm like, who can I help? Who needs me? <laughs> Shoulder press. Do you feel the same way? I'm like, oh. And the hard thing is too, is that they just want their mom. Like if you step in to help, it's like, who's this lady? Who's this stranger who's trying to take me from you? Um, today after the soccer games, we went, there was a little farmer's market here and they did pony rides and my kids were so excited. Kai's kicking his legs, but the older two got to ride a pony. And <laughs> when we're there, the lady's like, do you want me to hold your baby? Cause it's just me with three littles. <laughs> yeah. And he just freaks out. And so I'm trying to pay her and I'm like, okay, I'll just hold him. It's okay. <laughs> but she was so nice to offer. I'm like, I will always try and hand my babies off because my oldest, I never handed her off. She only wanted mom. <laughs> she only wanted mom. All right. Where are we going guys? We're going to boxer, boxer punch in five, four, three, two, and one. Punch it, punch it. This one's great for the core, great for those shoulders, forearms, everything. If you need to just drop the dumbbells, you can, or grab a lighter dumbbell, like five pounds, you can. Good, punch, 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 punch. That's it, punch, punch. I hope you're loving these summer workouts. I absolutely love them. I love going outside. I love being part of just the vitamin D, the sunshine. 12, 11, 10, keep going. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, give me a high five. Way to go, that's it. Okay, shaky, shaky. Shake those arms out. Block number three, block number three. Two rounds, block number three. So we're starting with alternating bicep curls. I'm pretty grateful for these eight pounds. At first I was like, oh yeah, we need heavier. No. <laughs> so alternating, did you go get a heavier one? And then you were like, yeah, that's, <laughs> I'm going back to my eights. That doesn't mean you can't do the heavier weights. I always, when I do the heavier weights, I love to do those workouts, really see a transformation in your, in your muscles, a little breakdown of those little microfiber breakdowns, however you explain that, but you're breaking down those muscles. They heal themselves and get stronger. However, I would do less reps. <laughs> High reps, I'm using a lighter weight. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, this one, you're gonna go across the body Cross, cross, okay? So you're also engaging that core on this one. So as I come across, I twist a bit, cross, twist a bit. 
okay? So biceps are working, shoulders are working, your core is working. What do you know? Isn't that fun? Okay, let's go, 40 seconds, cross, cross. That's it, keep going. What a gift it is to be able to move our bodies, be able to have these workouts together. I hope that you just show up and I take care of all the rest. I don't want you to have to think. I want you to be fully present. I really, really want to offer this as a resource where your mind can just be at peace. You don't have to think about what's for dinner. Just let it be. Just be here with me. I think this is my, probably my favorite part of the day. One of my favorite parts. I also love right when my kids wake up and they run into your arms. I love that moment. <laughs> and that was not always my perspective there. I used to be like, oh, I didn't finish what I was working on. <laughs> That's really what I would think. Like, oh, I'm not done yet. But now I'm like, I'm so excited for them to run into my arms. Like they want to be with me. They love me. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, guys, we're going to bend over. You're here, tricep. So working the back of those arms, you're going to kick back and then kick back. So I'm alternating right and then left. Okay, exercise number three of four. That's it. Kick back, kick back. We have one more exercise in block number three, and then we're moving to the core. Core, core, core. Can we have some more core? 20 seconds to go. Good, it's kind of crazy because I used to only use eight pound dumbbells. Now if you look at my older workouts, I would only use eight pounds. And now I've been doing more strength training, focusing more on upper body. That's been a big goal of mine this year. And they feel so much lighter. Like I'm so proud of myself. Have you had one of those moments when you're like, these are feeling lighter. This is feeling easier. I'm getting stronger. It doesn't happen overnight. It happens from consistently showing up, consistently putting on your gym shoes and your workout clothes or doing this in your pajamas. Just showing up for you is gonna make a huge difference in how you feel and the transformation that your mind and your body take. Woohoo! Good job, high five. I think we went through the break on that one. That's okay. <laughs> you feeling good? Doing good? Okay, we're going to a plank position. It's a renegade row. So you're down here holding a plank. Now, if you're not going to go down to a plank, you're here and you row, row. Kind of like the one that we did in block number one in the lunges, but just a, not with a lunge. <laughs> Good. Now I want to keep my hips flat. I'm not opening up and I'm not twisting. Nope. Holding those hips flat, stable, and then row, row. Good. 20 more seconds. That's it. Breathe easy. We're going back to the beginning after this. Whew. I really have to focus on not opening up those hips. Maybe you're the same way. Slight bend in your elbows. Four, three, two, time. Ah, how you doing? Okay, we're going one more time through block number three, and then core is dessert. Core is dessert. Do you do love core yet? <laughs> I think that's why I love Pilates. It's so great for your core, your powerhouse. Three, two, bicep curls. In, in, alternating bicep curls. Up, up, up. Biceps are a larger muscle than your triceps and your shoulders. So you can have a heavier dumbbell, but we're just keeping it consistent. High repetition. After this block, I need to go find my kids again. You know when you haven't seen them for a hot second? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, cuties? 14, 13, 12 seconds, 11, 10, nine, that's it, five seconds. If you miss any of these workouts in this 12 week series, just show up the next day. If you miss that day, it's not all or nothing, I can't do the workouts anymore, or feeling guilty or angry with yourself. Just show up the next day. Some days you miss and that's okay. I would rather have it be a lifestyle and something that you can maintain long term than a quick fix, or I did that for 90 days and then I didn't build this workout routine. Let's say you nail 90 days all in a row and you rock it. And then it's so much a part of you that the first thing in the morning you put on your workout clothes, your time's up, <laughs> you're done with that. The first thing when you wake up in the morning, you just put them on and you do it. And you don't even have to think, it just happens. That is the beautiful thing about committing to 90 days. The hard thing is the all or nothing thinking. If we are thinking all or nothing cross, cross, core is connected, working that core as well. 
if we're thinking all or nothing, same thing with your food, your nutrition. If we're saying, okay, I ate so good this morning and then I have one treat and it's like, ugh, whatever, I'm gonna eat whatever I want. How are you gonna feel? I always think, just like your workout, how do I feel after my workout? Awesome, how do I feel after I ate that food? What food fuels my body that I feel my best? Drinking that water, having a good protein, a carb, and a fat, just making sure it's balanced. That's, that's the beautiful thing, is your body is adaptable. It's going to adapt to whatever you feed it. It's going to adapt to what you're giving your body, but you can be in tune with what, how you feel after that food. Time, time's up. Time's up, time's up. Okay, what was our next one? Yeah, triceps, kickbacks. Did you remember? Me neither. Step back, kick it back. Okay, we have renegade row and then core. Only one more exercise. You ready to go, go, go? 20 more seconds. Just searching, searching the neighborhood for my littles. Good. This court behind us, um, I'm gonna put down tape and make like a backyard pickleball court. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm, we used to do it with like chalk. Time, time's up. Way to go, high five. I'm like, we're just gonna have some fun. I'm gonna invite all the moms over, let the kids play, we'll play some pickleball. <laughs> it is so popular. I can't believe all the pickleball courts around us are always jam packed. And I love it because there's little kids playing it too. Is pickleball way popular around you? <laughs> Some of my friends are like, I have never heard of it until I heard you talk about it, Nancy. <laughs> okay, renegade row, renegade row, 40 seconds. Good, way to go. How did you like this workout? Did you like using the lighter dumbbells, high repetition? You could do the same workout, repeat it, or mark it as a favorite, and try it with a heavier dumbbell. You can most definitely do that. Keep going. I think I healed my shoulder from the back seat reach. <laughs> Good, that's it, 10 more seconds. Come on, keep those hips flat, parallel to the floor. Slight bend in your elbow. Three, two, one, time. 20 second rest. Ah, ah, we're going to core, let's go. Okay. All right, we're on the floor for core. We're starting in star. So you're here and make a star. Ta-da, that's it. Just lay there. <laughs> Come right arm, left leg up, left arm, right leg. Okay, modification. I tap here and down. I tap here and down. If you're able to get the upper half off the floor, then go for it. 20 more seconds to go. I had to go check on my littles. They are? Playing in the garage. We're gonna hear them storm in here. I love when they're playing outside. Am I even in the screen? Hopefully. <laughs> I love it. I just love when they just go roam outside. It's like perfect weather right now, beginning of June. And it's just so wonderful to be out. You know how it gets a little bit really warm? If you're in Utah, it gets really warm in the middle of the day in July. And so, well, if you're in Arizona or Southern Utah, it's even warmer. So yeah, you get it. But, um, so I got one of those. I haven't got it yet. I'm going to get it. A roll hollow. So you're gonna be, this one's kind of fun. You're here, you're holding on your back. You're gonna roll and hold hollow. I'm gonna roll and hold here. Okay, so this doesn't work for my pregnant mamas. So if you are pregnant, leg slides, leg slides. Ooh, it's kind of fun, huh? I know I have had fun with this one. It's like the floor is lava with your upper and lower body. But, so I'm trying to pick out one of those water slides. I'm like, this is gonna be the best thing. One of those like blow up houses on Amazon that's water, but I can't pick one out. There's too many options. Do you have one and do your kids love it? <laughs> so I'm like, oh, the kids are gonna love this. <laughs> I'm gonna love this. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see what, what appears on my doorstep. <laughs> I sent Dave like five options. Which one do you like? His is gonna be the one that's the cheapest, I know it. 
which is probably a good idea. Knees up, tap, tap. Mine's gonna be, which one's the best quality? We can have it for our grandbabies. <laughs> Who thinks like that, Nancy? Good, out, out, in, in. 24 seconds to go. Let me know if this workout flew by, if it took longer. I love your feedback. I always appreciate it. Every time you comment, thumbs up, it always helps me out. You do the workouts with me. It helps this channel to grow. It helps other people, other moms to find this channel. So it really means a lot. If you're like, I'm just one person, it really does help me out. <sighs> okay, we're going back through that one more time. Oh, nope, we have one more. Do we? One more core exercise on your backs. Okay, pull those legs in. You're gonna drop one leg at a time. So with a leg drop, single, I exhale, exhale, inhale. If you want, legs are up, and they drop together. Exhale, inhale, exhale. You can lift the upper half if you want. You don't have to, you can leave the head resting. I just wanna avoid any gaps in my lower spine. So I kind of make this little triangle with my hands. Also, if I start to cone here, if I'm not connecting, so first pull in from the pelvic floor, hug the transverse abdominals, and then perform the exercise. Ooh, eight seconds. I'm winded on the abs. Dessert, dessert. One, ah, oh, star. Okay, just lay there. Just lay there like this. Ah, man, I'm pretty sweaty. 10 seconds, eight. Oh. <laughs> I, do you ever have those days when you're just running around and having the best day of your life? I feel, I, I don't know why the days I love when I feel <laughs> super productive. I mowed the lawn and I did this and I'm really working to really love the slow days. I wanna love those ones where I have lots of time and we stayed in the house, I just, my personality likes to go. It just likes to go, go, go. So I'm really working on just enjoying slowing down. And how fast does the world go when we're constantly checking our phone, checking social media, just any gap of time we have, we have a device or a phone or we're listening to something. And so for me personally, I'm like, I want, I have the power to slow down time. I can slow it down. I get to choose where I give my attention and I get to choose to slow that down. Is that being perfect? No. I looked at like swim lessons for an hour last night. Where should I do swim lessons for the kids? It just it was taking me so long. Oh, where should I do tumbling? And then I'm watching tumbling. <laughs> Nancy, what were you even looking for? Can't remember. All right, oh yes, the fun one. Okay, the floor is lava. Hollow, roll, yeah. Roll back, that's it. Roll it, yeah. Roll back. Okay, let's do a double roll this time. Roll back. Okay, can you roll forward again? <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm in the fireplace, I'm in the fireplace. And roll back. <laughs> so fun. So I did this with t tumbling with my daughter. I was like, that was so fun and so good for my core and my back. <sighs> yeah, yeah, we're in the Rockies, duh. Okay, oh, plank to bear, bear to plank. So you're gonna hold those knees up and if you're not doing plank today, you can be on those knees and go bird dog. Bird dog, if it's not happening, lift knees up. Step back, back, in, in, back, back, in, in, back, back, in, in. Yes, your core has been working as we've been doing your arms. It's your powerhouse. It's your foundation. It's keeping your body going. Ah, that's it. Yep. Aha. Keep going. Keep going, guys. Oh, I thought my time was there. Four, three, two, one, time. Huh. Leg drops, final core exercise, and then we'll stretch you and send you on your way. Remember, modification is single leg, left, then right, triangle in your hands, lower back if you need it, to help fill that gap in the lower spine. 
Inhale, exhale as you drop. Inhale, pull up. Now connect first. Good, keep going. Sometimes I just like my shoes off. Do not pay attention to my mismatched socks. <laughs> Always. I told Dave, it is so smart if we just bought the same color of socks, because I, then I wouldn't have to match them. <laughs> Why? Why did I get a bunch of different colors for the kids? They never match, ever. <laughs> and imagine the largest pile of laundry you've ever had on, on your floor, and then times it by like 10. That's what my bedroom has right now. Just the biggest pile of laundry. I have no desire to do it. Go ahead and cartwheel over. Okay, that's a lie. I do want to do it because my little Miss Ava gets a little upset when she can't find her clothes. She gets a little anxious. Like, I, I can't find my clothes and gets a little angry. So I'm like, okay, if it helps her to feel less overwhelmed because there's a huge pile of her clothes right there that she's got to find clothes in. It's just so much easier for her to have them folded. And I always, okay, I just chatted your ear off today. I hope that you can just enjoy it. But I always channel, I say channel my inner, and then I say like, my mom loved doing laundry. So she's like, I loved it. I loved seeing your little clothes, and I loved seeing how you were growing. And my sister's like, I love it. I get to have a show on, and I'm like, okay. Channel my inner mom, my inner Kathy, that's my sister's name. <laughs> channel, their, channel their energy, that positive energy. Because it's not that I have negative energy, I just don't do it. <laughs> you do the things and you pay attention to the things that you care about. <laughs> I just don't. Laundry's just not on my list. I'm just, it's one of those things that I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it for Ava to help her find her clothes. <laughs> and the sweetest thing too, she folded all her clothes the other day, legs straight, reach forward. She folded all her clothes the other day and cleaned up her room so nice. I think she just felt so loved. I had taken her to go get some summer clothes. Um, all the kids' clothes did not fit them anymore. So, well, they had some. But we went and got some summer clothes and she just felt so loved. She did a whole fashion show for Dave. And then she went in her room and just folded all the clothes. And I just love when kids take the initiative as much as we want to force them and do things it could be 10 years and they could still care less about having a messy room and then we're the ones that care twist left arm left leg on top twist here open up that chest gaze over your left shoulder so if it matters to me then yes i can take the time to fold that and do it and set that example be the person that you want your child to be Sometimes I'm so nitpicky. That's really something. I'm probably nitpicky with myself too. Twist right here. We all have room for improvement. Good, good, good. My, my favorite song, I sing it every day to my kids. It's gonna be a good, good day. It's gonna be a good, good day. Left arm, we're gonna work real hard. Listen to our mom, we're gonna play, play, play till the morning is done. <laughs> just made it up and now they sing it with me. I just laugh my head off like, where did that come from? I don't know. So if you wanna sing my song with your kids, you're welcome. <laughs> Flat those hands down, wrist eye. Arms worked good today. Flip them over. Good, interlock those fingers behind you. We did stretch those triceps in the middle of that workout or in the beginning. If you need to stretch them again, you're more than welcome to. And now we'll put them in front, hunch. Good, we're gonna do one of my favorite poses. It reminds me of a cat. Put your hips high, drop your chest down. Don't you feel like a cat, like cat stretching? Meow. Well, I did. Okay. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. Man, just had a lot of positive vibes today. I had a lot of stories. I'll keep the stories on the lower end next time, or will I not? I don't know. We'll see. You'll find out when you show up. See you guys. Have a great day.